Hi, you guys. I hope you all are doing well. If you guys follow me on Instagram at Coupon World, I had asked you guys, would you like to see a video on what you should not pay full price for? And I got an overwhelming response of yes. So here's the video. So I want to talk about these items that you see that you should not pay full price for that you can get at Target. I want to pick this specific store because not everybody have, you know, all stores are different and I think we all can relate to Target. So toothpaste, toothbrushes, floss, deodorants are all great items to stock up on. Now in the P&G Procter & Gamble, you guys probably have heard me talk about that, there's almost always a coupon on those items the first Sunday of every month, with the exception of the holidays, okay? So keep your eyes open for those circulars in the Sunday's paper. Now as far as Target, Target has coupons on their website that you can print. They also have a free savings program that you can use in their store and you can save anywhere from 5 to 50% off on the items that you purchase. So there's an app that you have to download on your smartphone or your Android phone. Then you choose the offers that you want to use and scan the barcode off your phone at the checkout. You can also ask your your cashier, you know, she or he, uh, for an application so you can apply for their Target red card. It works like, um, it's a debit card that works like a, a check card. It just draws funds from your existing checking account. Super easy. Just ask them, they'll walk you through it, okay? You can also save 5% off your total purchase. So, what you can do as far as getting some things for free or almost free, just remember these things. You could use a Target coupon that you print off of their website, a manufacturer coupon, their cartwheel, sign up for their program, and you can use an extra 5% off the Target red card. That's a lot of savings, you guys. I, that You can't really beat that. So keep your eye open for that. Also, keep your eye out open for those $5 gift cards. Sometimes you'll see like the tag sticking out from the side where the, where the product is. Keep your eye out on that because Sometimes it'll say like $5 when you purchase two or three of these items. They'll give you a gift card. So you can use that on top of your coupons and then use your gift card to roll over for some more items to start your stockpile up, okay? So I hope these tips have worked for you. And let's move on to our next savings. Okay, everyone, I want to show you how you can save on toilet paper. This is my number one question that I get is, how can I save on toilet paper? So the ad that you're looking at is the Dollar Journal ad. And the reason why I picked this paper is because Dollar Journals are pretty much in everyone's neighborhood. And I want everyone to be able to take advantage of this sale. Well, mostly everyone, okay? And I want to give you the feel of how to really use coupons and how to maximize your savings on your coupons. Now, this deal is going to be starting Thursday, it's Thursday through Saturday, November 20th through, through the 22nd, and it's only three days. So if you have the coupon, you're in luck. So I'm going to show you, you know, how you can save. Now, for those of you who don't know, Dollar General do accept manufactured coupons, as well as the Dollar Store and Family Dollar, okay? They do accept coupons. You just want to make sure of ounces and the dates that are on the coupon, okay? Now, the thing about Dollar General is, you see this $5 off a of 30 coupon? This coupon you get at the end of your receipt. This is valuable because this is going to help you save. Now, with this coupon and a manufactured coupon, if you ever heard me talk about the, the term stacking, this is exactly what it is. We're going to stack these coupons to get in on some toilet paper. Now, the deal here is we're going to buy seven 12-pack rolls of the Angel Soft toilet paper. You're going to use seven manufacturer coupons here. Now, the thing about this coupon, it says here, Angel Soft with fresh lavender scent. It doesn't say it in the ad. You got to pay a little, little, you know, details. You got to pay attention to that because you may get to the counter and your cashier may be having a bad day and she will say, no, you can't use it. Be nice to your cashiers, everyone. Try to be nice to them. They may, they may let you use it. They may not. My Dollar General says, okay, it's okay that I can use it because they know me there, so they're going to let me use it. But not all cashiers will let you use it, so be mindful, very mindful of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy seven rolls of the Angel Soft to toilet paper. We're going to use seven manufacturer coupons. Why? Because it's going to bring our total up to 
$30. It's going to bring it up to $31, I believe. And that's the only way to benefit from this coupon is if you purchase $30. You see the coupon is says $5 off $30 uh, when you purchase $30 or more. Okay, you have to spend at least 30 and that's before coupons. So you're going to use seven manufacturer coupons. You're going to use your $5 off of 30. You got to use their in-store coupon and you're going to make sure you give this coupon to your cashier before you uh, before they ring you up totally. Okay, because you have to spend $30 or more. Now that's going to give you a total of $12 off of seven 12 pack rolls of toilet paper. Now I know it's not the best toilet paper, but toilet paper is toilet paper, but it's going to give you $12 off. It's going to bring it down to $19.50 before taxes. Now when you divide that by seven, it will be $2.78 a pack, which is not bad from $4.50. I hope you guys got that because sometimes it can be confusing, okay? Just make sure you use this and have your coupons ready. Now, the other question that I get is the sparkle. You see the sparkle for $3.75? You see that coupon for $0.45, with 45 cents off of one? Well, a lot of people look at that coupon and they say, that ain't, that ain't saving no money, $0.45. Cents and they just kind of throw it away. <gasps> Don't do that, okay? Don't do it because I'm going to show you how you can save. Now, back to this $5 off a of 30 coupon, you only get one per per receipt. So, this is the time where you want to get like a buddy system, get another buddy with you. This way they can get a receipt, maybe buy a candy bar or something, and you get a re you get $5 off that receipt because on the coupon it says limit one per customer, okay? So, they're only going to let you use one. Now, back to this coupon. Now we're gonna on this we're gonna do this same pretty much the same scenario, except we're gonna buy eight. We're gonna buy eight of these, which will bring our total up to thirty dollars before taxes. You got that? And you're gonna use eight forty five cents off coupons, which will be which will be which will take it to three dollars and sixty cents off of the thirty dollars. Then you're gonna take your five dollars off a of thirty coupon, which will give you an additional five dollars off which would be a, a total savings of $8.60. So that will give you a grand total of $21.40 for eight six packs of paper towels. That's not a bad savings because if you think about it, for one pack of paper towels, you would pay what, a dollar each, right? But you're getting six packs for a lot less. $2.67. That is not bad from $3.75. So I hope you guys get that and let's move on to our next savings. Okay you guys, let's talk about laundry detergents. This is another question that I get a lot from everyone is how can I save on laundry detergents because laundry detergent is super expensive and I understand that. So I'm going to give you guys some tips on this, okay? Laundry detergents and dishwashing liquids are items that you should never pay full price for. That's if you have coupons. Now, I've noticed that the price of detergents had increased tremendously, along with the choice of brands that you buy. So here's a tip. Save your laundry detergent coupons because a sale will come out. Save it even if it's not brand specific. I'm going to give you an example of what I do. I love getting detergent, but I only use it on my sheets, my blankets, my husband's casual work clothes, my, uh, my son's casual clothes, and my casual clothes. But the lower brand detergents I use on my medical scrubs, my husband's garden clothes, my son's sports clothes. That's a way that you can save on detergents as well. Now, the best way to make the most of your coupons um, for detergents is to stack your coupons with a manufacturer coupon. Like I explained earlier about Target, let me reiterate what I talked what I talked to you earlier about Target, okay? Because Target uh, is a good source of getting coupons and stacking, and they have a lot to offer as far as you getting, you know, the rock bottom prices on what you see here. So you want to use a Target coupon. You go onto their web their website at Target.com. A manufacturer coupon, their cartwheel, and that five percent off when you when you, on your entire purchase when you um, when you purchase something at Target. That's the red card that I had talked about earlier. Okay, look into that because you can save a lot. Five percent is 
5%, okay? You can save a lot. Now, the other thing too is a BOGO. You see them at your supermarkets, you see them at other stores. BOGOs, for those who don't know what a BOGO is, it's a buy one, get one free. And you can use two coupons on a BOGO, okay? Let me say that again. You can use two coupons on a buy one, get one free, which is a BOGO. Now, to maximize your total savings with your store, see if they offer your in, you know, their in-store coupons on the product that matches your coupon. That's called stacking. You could do a lot that way, okay? Dishwashing liquid, what you see here is often under a dollar. This is a 9-ounce bottle that you see here. Um, I, got, I, got, I think I got these from CVS, I believe. It's a 9-ounce bottle, but they also have them at Walmart uh, as well. And you're saying, it's a small bottle. Yes, it is. But when you have a coupon that's a dollar off and the bottle of dishwashing liquid is 97 cents, it makes it free. And free is better. Always better. So, if you're interested in starting a stockpile, or a small or a large one, doesn't matter, as long as you start something to save, the key to creating a good stockpile is to buy anywhere from 6 to 10 items when it's on sale with your coupons. Over time, as you begin to coupon, you will figure out what you are willing to pay for. And that's kind of something that you'll learn as time goes on. So I hope you uh, like these tips. I hope they have helped you. If you have any tips or ideas, leave them in the comment section, and I'll be talking to you guys very soon, okay? Oh, one more thing. Um, if you guys are interested in knowing what the November sales cycle is, let me know also in the comment box, and I'll do a video on that as well, okay? Talk to you guys soon, and thanks for watching.